pas l'enlever Ça me fera après. Voilà, donc pour compléter euh, ce, que, ce que j'ai dit euh, ce matin, là, ça va être plus euh, pratique. So, to finish off uh, what I was uh, saying this morning, let's now move on to the hands-on session. But here, we we'll like to summarize the workflow. So, first, the consultation. Then, uh, you know what you have to do. Uh, take impressions, uh, digital impressions, and so forth. And never forget to ask the patient if uh, the patient has still uh, deciduous teeth and whether the patient prefers uh, ceramic or metal brackets of course so during the first appointment uh, you explain uh, uh, and illustrate the process to the patient, and then my assistant takes over, and she will take you, uh, she, she will uh, talk about uh, indirect bonding. So first of all, you have uh, to have uh, the file of the patient, including pictures, uh, um, impressions, uh, X-rays. Uh, so what you do with the indirect bonding is more or less what you normally do. The only extent, the only difference here is that uh, you take uh, uh, digital impressions. So we use the Atero um, interoral scanner, but you can use a different scanners if you wish. You have to uh, have an OPG or orthopantogram. So you see we're taking the x-rays. Voilà. Donc là, c'est Océane, c'est ma collègue qui a 22 ans et qui avait besoin. So this is uh, a 22-year-old patient who needs uh, orthodontic treatment. So again, we took all the pictures uh, as we usually do, pictures of the face on the side. Photo on the buccal. And then we take the scans. So once the file is completed, we send the STL file containing all the necessary information. Here you have to, of course, provide the doctor's data. You have to specify the arches that you're treating and the bracket that you want to use, whether crystal or metal or both. The dentist or the doctor can set the height of the brackets, so which height you're going to place. And then you have to specify whether you're going to place the brackets yourself or if you want the transfer jig that the lab will have to prepare. So again, here you see the default values for the positioning of the brackets. If you want to change something, you, of course, can. And if you forget something, you can go back to the software and add them. Well, if you have all the machines, if you have a 3D printer, you can print the trays or the jigs yourself. Otherwise, the lab will, as you know, you have We have uh, a special price for you in the testing, in the trial period. So, then, you, if you send everything to the lab, it takes 24 hours before you get the brackets back. It is uh, the doctor that, who has to validate everything. Once validated, everything is sent to Indibond, and then you receive uh, the brackets. Either you follow this process, or you can do everything yourself. The whole process can be done in, in your office. But again, it won't take long to go through all these stages. And now, and now, I'm going to show you a short video 
explaining how you're going to place the brackets in the transfer tray. Before you place the brackets in the transfer tray, you have to close the slides because normally they are open. You may specify uh, that you want the brackets with the closed slides before um, they send them to you, and this can be done. Anyway, if they are, the slides are open, you have to close them before you place them in the transfer tray. These transfer trays are very, very accurate. The slots are perfectly uh, done. You can easily insert the brackets in the transfer tray, no problem at all. It's very convenient. As I said, you can ask the lab to send you the transfer tray with the brackets already placed in it. So at that point, you simply have to bond them. Oh, there is another way. You can turn all the brackets in the box. They are delivered. Please explain the your assistant they don't have to revert the order of the brackets you simply turn them in the box you put them in the transfer tray very easily and then you add some glue that's it it doesn't need uh, any additional maneuver you don't even have to remove the glue in excess it's a very clean uh, procedure i must say the transfer jigs are now ready. As you can see, the color code um, prevents any mistake. I bond using uh, transbond, but you can use the traditional glue. glue. Or you can use a vagonomer that is uh, has a less intrinsic humidity. This is a video why we are bonding uh, brackets on Ocean. Ocean is uh, one of our colleagues, so so we clean the teeth. Donc là pour le là je lui ai collé ces deux arcades euh, la même séance c'est vrai que c'est pas fatigant. Today I'm going to bond both arches. It's not difficult. It's not that time consuming. You can do it easily. So I mean I'm doing uh, what is normally done before bonding. Never forget uh, the uh, goggles before hatching. I use a gel etching. Donc franchement, il y a rien de vous faites comme habituellement et même pour la je crois que pour le séquençage enfin le le partage because it does not drip. Again, there are different ways uh, you can do this. You can either put the transfer tray uh, at the same time. I mean, you can place the uh, transfer tray as it is, or you can cut it in three segments and place them one by one. Now I'm drawing the teeth. The secret here is to place little adhesive uh, because, again, the tray fits perfectly. When you place the tray in the mouth, this adhesive melts, so you don't have to use too much adhesive. And then it is important to have the tray to stick perfectly to the occlusal surface of the teeth. 
while you uh, cure the adhesive, we are uh, bonding ceramic uh, brackets here. I prefer to use uh, a pointed uh, instrument uh, to place uh, the adhesive. As you can see, I'm uh, curing while I'm pressing against the occlusal uh, surface. I know it fits perfectly, but nevertheless, I prefer to make a little pressure to stabilize it. I use the halo light to cure the adhesive. Once I've completed the arch, well, first of all, this material is excellent because it's uh, um, soft enough and hard enough. Those who use the lingual technique know that they have you have to rotate slightly the tray or the tray segments to have the to remove the the tray, and you see that the brackets stick immediately to the teeth, and, and then it's done. So we are all very happy. So clearly, the ideal patient is a patient with a stable dentition uh, or an adult patient. The patient must be asked whether he or she prefer crystal or metal brackets. And now we're going to see indirect bonding with Anne. Anne is going to lend us her mouth today for indirect bonding. Clearly, here we're working under extreme conditions. So we do hope everything is going to go smoothly. But we do our best, of course. Donc Anne, euh, qui a un très joli sourire, bon, elle n'a pas vraiment besoin de traitement orthodontique. Anne a un beautiful smile, so she needs definitely she doesn't need uh, brackets. Class 1. Un léger encombrement. Class 1. Very, very minor crowding in the lower arch, but negligible. But let's start with indirect bonding then. Comment ça va? Pas stressé? How are you? Are you nervous? Not at all. You can lift your head a little bit. Je vais prendre l'écarteur. Ah, c'est bon. Ah voilà. Donc là, je sèche comme ça. Heureusement, c'est du verre donc il y a une. You first have to dry accurately. We have already cleaned her teeth, and now there's a very thin saliva film. So I have to dry the teeth accurately. I start with the posterior segments, and then I move to the anterior one.
<rire> voilà, tu peux filmer peut-être euh, Marion. Ah ouais, Marion. Oui. Voilà. Faut filmer là, peut-être. Là. Je vais quand même polymériser. So and now like you. Donc les bras qui se dépassent un petit peu de la, de la gouttière. Donc en fait on fait une polymérisation normale. Voilà, il n'y a pas le la photopolymérisation passe par le dessus, donc il n'y a pas de problème particulier, hein, c'est comme d'habitude. So I follow the usual steps and nothing different. Fumisial distal. Ouais. I start, I proceed from measure to distal. Wait. On va faire l'autre côté. So I move to the opposite side now. Anne est une patiente formidable, qui ne bouge pas. Anne is an exceptionally good patient. She doesn't move. Donc là, moi, je ne colle pas au valionomère, mais il y en a qui collent au valionomère, notamment la zone antérieure. Donc, euh, ça fonctionne aussi. De toute façon, c'est des braquettes euh, comme habituellement. Hein. Vous utilisez votre colle, en fait. So you can use any adhesive, of course, uh, the one you prefer. Après, donne-moi la gouttière. There are others uh, who use a glass ionomer. la zone antérieure. Alors. Donc la découpe, euh, on peut la choisir aussi. Là, c'est de, ils ont fait de, de 6 à, à 4, 6 à 4, après 3 à 3. So here we have done from 6 to 4, then 3 to 3. If you want, uh, you can then uh, include the seven. Bon. 
Donc cette face plate au clusal est assez pratique justement pour tenir, pour exercer une petite pression dessus. The flat occlusal surface is very convenient because you can apply pressure. Again, it's flat, it's a flat surface, so you can press it. Oui, c'est ça. On n'a pas besoin de... Bah, si, quand même, je préfère que ce soit mon, mon assistante Marion qui mette la colle. Et ben moi, je me repose. I prefer Marion, my assistant. Uh, I prefer her to place the, the adhesive while I rest. I can do it myself. I, I want Marion always... At my side, I feel uh, reassured. C'est encore une idée de Charlie, hein? Bon. C'est d'une idée originale de Monsieur Koubi. So I'm going to remove uh, the cheek retractor in a minute, uh, uh, Marion. There it is. C'est bon. Alors maintenant, je vais enlever les gouttières. Are you okay? And now I'm going to remove the tray. Donc un petit mouvement de de palatin. As I said, you have to tilt it um, slightly. First, uh, towards the palate, and then towards uh, the, again, the buccal and then uh, lingual surface. Uh, sorry, the buccal surface, and the same applies to the anterior teeth. Uh, again, this is a very nice material that is soft and uh, hard enough at the same time. And that's it. <laughs> C'est Anne qui va être contente. Attends, attends, regarde, attends. Ah, on peut mettre le fil Are you happy, Anna? If you want, we can place the arc. As well, we can engage the arc if you so wish. Let me see. Open your mouth. Voilà. There it is. And now, if I may. I would like to place, to engage the arc, just to take pictures. Je pense ça va très bien tenir, même si ça Et après, c'est bon, en fait. Ah oui, ils sont fermés. Bon, on le fera après, sinon. Je vais peut-être le faire après, ça. Je vais le faire en, en même temps. C'est bon.